Hi, I'm Ashley from Genoi and I'm here to give you an introduction to some of the fantastic features of the Motorola Fire. It's a fantastic business tool and it provides an easy transition if you're new to the world of smartphones. I'll guide you through setting up some of the basics and we'll show you how to personalise your smartphone so you're up and running in no time. To begin, let's take a first look. Your Motorola Fire comes with an AC adapter, USB data cable, 2 gig micro SD, headset and a quick start guide. To insert the SIM card, remove the back, insert the SIM, then your battery and replace the cover. To fire it up, press and hold the power button for a few moments until the screen comes to life. Pressing and holding again turns it back off. Your Motorola Fire runs on Android, a smartphone operating system that you can customise to suit your needs. The first time you set up your smartphone, you'll need to go through the startup steps. This is very easy and will take just a few minutes. Tap the Android to start this process. You'll be asked to set up your Google account. While it's not compulsory to do this, we recommend you do it as it gives you the power to experience the Motorola Fire's full capability as well as the Android Marketplace. If you have an account, tap Sign In and complete the details. Or you can tap Create if you don't have an existing Google account. The Motorola Fire will walk you through the setup. Now you'll be asked to select Use Google Location. This enables the GPS services in your smartphone to work. Select Next to agree with Google's location service. The next screen is about backing up and restoring your data. Again, we'll use the default option and tap Next. Then tap Finish Setup. The phone will now load up the home screen for you. So now that your Motorola Fire is set up, you're now ready to start personalising it to your needs. I'll explain some of the standard phone features to get you started. To lock the display, press the power button at the top briefly. The screen will go dark and this is standby mode. To unlock your smartphone, press the power button and slide your finger from left to right, as shown on the screen. This will display the main home screen of the device. To select an icon or choose any option on the screen, just tap on it. To go back a step at any point, just tap the back button. To go to the home screen, just tap the home button. You can do this while you're in any active screen. To bring up additional menus while you're in an application, just tap the menu button to get the menu to appear. Tapping the menu button again removes the menu. The notification bar at the top of the screen alerts you to the latest happenings on your new device, like receiving voicemail, missing a call or getting a text. To view the notifications, swipe your finger down from the top of the display to the bottom. This will show the notification window and give you quick access to important features of the device. To view the details of a notification, just tap on the description and it will take you to a screen telling you more about that notification. Pressing back takes you to the home screen again. If you want to clear the remaining notifications without having to go through them individually, just tap on the clear icon above the notifications. Next, we'll take a quick look at personalising the home screen. Your Fire allows you to customise many things, backgrounds, ringtones and icon placement, to name a few. The screen has two types of icon, app icons and widgets. App icons will launch a desired application when you tap on them, like your email. Widgets are animated icons that actually display live information, like the weather, giving you at a glance information on the go. Now let me quickly show you how to add a new icon to your home screen. Tap on the App Store. This will take you through to the full menu of applications. Choose the icon you want to place on the home screen and long press on it until you get taken back to the home screen. You'll be able to place the icon anywhere on the screen by dragging it around. Drop it where you want by releasing your finger from the display. You can move any icon or widget around by long pressing it and releasing your finger when it's in the spot you want. You can remove any existing icon or widget by long pressing on it and dragging it to the rubbish bin. To change the backdrop shown on the home screen, 
just long press on an empty area of the home screen and choose wallpapers. Then choose from your available options and tap select. Now let's take a look at the all important email feature that will let you stay on top of your inbox while out of the office. Setting up email on the Motorola Fire is quick and easy. From the home screen, tap the menu button, then settings, then accounts and sync. You'll then need to tap add account and then corporate. Enter your email address and password in the corresponding fields and tap next. Now you need to amend the domain username and server fields, but you only need to enter the information that your mail server administrator has provided. All other fields can be left blank. Ensure that the Use Secure Connection and Accept All SSL Certificate checkboxes are ticked and tap Next. Then tap OK. In the Account Options menu, ensure the settings are as desired and tap Next. Enter a name for the account and tap Done. Then tap Activate. Now you're good to go, so tap the Home key to return to the home screen. The Android Marketplace is where you can find a wealth of applications to increase productivity or enhance your free time. Here you can find almost everything, from social and business networking through to life planning apps, gaming and navigation. Just tap on the Market icon on your home screen. The first time you enter the Android Marketplace, you'll be asked to accept the terms and conditions, and then after that you'll be on the main screen. You can browse the different categories. Just tap on one to explore further, or hit the back button to return. To install an app, tap on the desired icon. On the new screen that loads up, you'll see more details about the app. Tap download to install. To browse the internet on this phone, tap the browser icon on your home screen. To load another page, just scroll to the top of the page and type the new web address into the text box. Bluetooth offers you fast, reliable, wireless connectivity over short distances from your Motorola Fire. This can be up to 10 metres and you can use it to link many different types of devices like car kits, music headphones and headsets. To activate Bluetooth from the home screen, tap the menu key and tap settings, then wireless and networks, then Bluetooth. To then connect to another Bluetooth device, go to the wireless and networks menu. Tap Bluetooth settings and tap Discoverable to show available Bluetooth devices. This will also make your smartphone visible to other Bluetooth devices. Tap Scan for devices, scroll to and touch the device you wish to pair with. Lastly, enter your PIN into the PIN code field and tap OK. The same PIN code will need to be entered into the other Bluetooth device. Many Bluetooth devices have a standard PIN of 0000 or 1234, but we suggest you check the user guide that comes with it to confirm. The last feature of your smartphone we will cover off is power management. We'll give you some quick tips to extend the life of your battery so you can stay connected for longer. Decreasing the brightness of your screen helps save power. From the home screen, tap the menu key and then tap the settings icon. Select display and then brightness. Ensure that the automatic brightness field checkbox is not ticked. Just tap to change it. Touch then drag the slider to reduce the brightness and tap OK. Also with the screen you can change the length of time it takes for the backlight to switch off when your smartphone is inactive. From the home screen tap the menu key, then tap settings and display. Tap screen timeout and then adjust the screen timeout option down. Set Bluetooth, GPS and Wi-Fi to off when not in use. The easiest way to do this is to set up the power control widget. This is an icon on your screen that is interactive. If the power control widget is not already a default on your screen, to add it, hold your finger on the home screen until the Add to Home Screen box appears. Tap Widgets. Then from the Choose Widget screen, scroll down to Power Control, tap and it will now appear on your screen. To use the widget, just tap on the icon of either Bluetooth, GPS or Wi-Fi and this will toggle service on and off. You're now on your way to discovering even more on your Motorola Fire. Have a look through the menus and explore the widgets and applications to get this great business tool doing the things you need it to. And remember, the more you practice, the easier it will become.